Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun! Since last time, I made my way back to Bilibin here, and I'm just gonna leave my gen like this now, because a lot of enemies in the upcoming dungeons are gonna be weak to fire, and, well, now I have the levels to use Blast, so I think that's a little more valuable than being able to exploit the Jupiter elemental weakness that, like, one enemy has or something like that so yeah let's head on over to the mercury lighthouse then we could have gone there before going to kalima forest but then we wouldn't have the levels that i have now i think it's a little more safe to save this for after the forest there because the boss is pretty hard Alright, so let's check out the Bilibin Cave here, and let's see, now normally you're supposed to go over here and get go in the dungeon that way, but if you have someone with the growth spell, haha, -ha, yeah, it's not just there for damage, you also use it for a little bit of puzzle solving there. If you don't have the growth spell, give Venus Gen to Garrett or Mars to Isaac, either one of those will do the trick there, and now... Haha! -ha. Yeah, whenever you see that, I don't know what that is, like an indentation or something in the rocks there, that means you can slide down, when normally you couldn't just jump down that distance. But over here, we get a better weapon! Awesome! So let's see what that one is. Let's see, now that is a light sword, so I want to give that one to Ivan there, not only because, well, the other two have fairly powerful swords, but they can equip long swords, while Ivan cannot. So, a lot of times, whenever I find a stronger light blade, I'll tend to give it to Ivan, because he can actually use them, and they are sometimes more powerful than, like, a staff or some other mage-type weapon. Now, up there, there's actually a hidden door there, but we can't reveal it at this time. So, we'll save that for later. Alright, here we got a new enemy. I didn't think we could meet up with these guys until we got to the other side of the cave. But. Okay, let's see. Okay, ooze, these guys are weak to Mars. So, let's see. Let's go like that. That ought to do. Yeah, sadly, we can't take advantage of the elemental weakness. But, soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Get a little stat boost. Awesome. Another thing I like about this setup is how everyone's agility is, like, there's a clear turn order that will happen almost every time because our agility isn't that close to each other. Although Garrett needs to gain another level, but we'll get there soon enough. Okay, and we got another new enemy here. Oh, I did have the ooze in uh, the Bilibin Cave in my database. Okay, I just forgot about it. But, okay, let's see. By the way, the ooze can cut everyone's defense by uh, one-eighth, but that's not really a huge concern there. Ghouls are also weak to Mars. So, let's see. You know what? Let's have Isaac take care of that this time. Ooze does not have quite as much HP. And I don't think there's anything special about the ghoul. They have some ability, Cannibal Fang. I don't know exactly what that does off the top of my head. Probably HP draining, I would imagine. There's nothing up the left path there. Now, if you went through that hidden doorway that I was mentioning, you could jump across here and then go up there to a hidden treasure room, but we can't do that right now. So, it's really out of the way by the time we do have the ability to go through there. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got that ice pillar in the way. So, in order to get it out of our way, just push this torch over there. Ha ha! And let's see what we get for our prize. Oh, you know, I used a genie there. And we get... A vial that restores 500 HP. So we're not really going to use it for a long time. You definitely want to hold on to it for later, though. I generally don't use them 
for a long time, like practically the end of the game. And even then I don't use him that much. Ah, here we got another new enemy. Mauler, these guys are weak to Mars. But I don't need to bother exploiting that. Well, I can't. But I don't need to exploit it with my synergy. Oh, that reminds me, uh, a couple of you were saying that you can boost the power of your genie with summons. They boost your power of whatever the element the summon is. But since I'm not going to be using that, I don't have access to it. What I meant to say was that you can't boost synergy with a, another synergy. Like you could boost physical attacks with impact. Oh, and by the way, I... let's see. Yeah, we gained a level for Garrett there. So now, yeah, it's pretty much always going to go Ivan, Garrett, Isaac for turn order there. So now we got that pretty reliable. So let's check out the town of Emil here. Hey, how's it going? What's the problem? You're not going to tell us, are you? Why are you calling him Grandpa? I would imagine he's not your grandpa, right? Ah, and someone was talking about someone named Mia. Yep, you're all gonna die. Probably sooner rather than later. Ah, okay. And well, let's see what we got here. Remember that for later, viewers. We're definitely gonna need that. Okay, how's it going? Oh! Yeah, just showed up here. Got a color scheme just like you, huh? Oh, okay. Well, you live in an ice village. Of course you're going to have a cold here. What did you expect? And well, let's see what they got here. Well, there's the inn. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. I'm not going to rest here just yet, but we'll see. Ah, okay. But if you go into the oven... Haha! -ha, lucky Pepper! That boosts your luck stat. And let's see, who needs it the most? Yeah, let's give that to Garrett there. But yeah, the luck stat is used for status resistance. Most of the time, I don't really worry about it, but... Well, there's one situation where I really care about that, actually. And I'll let you know when we get to that point. Oh, hmm. I wonder if that was Saturos and company, huh? Oh, what do we got up here? Nothing! Okay, never mind, then. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a... I think the kid said something if you read his mind. Oh. No, well, there's only one other group that I would know that would want to head there. What do the lighthouses do right now, anyway? I mean, they're not lit, evidently. Oh, well, yeah, that's generally a good idea. Well, it's generally not healthy to, you know, freeze to death, either. I, I don't know, call that crazy, but... I think it would be a good idea to stay out of the cold. Although, I am from Chicago, so I kind of know how the guy feels. Gone outside, 20 below weather, with nothing but a t-shirt on. That probably wasn't a very smart idea on my part. Well, I lived. Okay, let's see. At the equipment shops here. Well, there's no one at the desk, but... Well, at least we get another item that I could sell. Awesome. No, no, I don't... I, I don't well, there's no weapons here anyway. Oh. I wonder how they did that. Seriously, I don't know. I mean, that seems rather odd. I mean, how can you blame something like that? without being able to see it or something. Yeah, I wanted to see what he said there. Be gone, demon! Ah, oh, okay. Sorry. Well, yeah, I hope you do get better. Hmm, there's a treasure up there, but I can't quite reach it. Hmm. 
Well, we got the snowman here, and what you're supposed to do is use the move synergy to drop it down there, and that'll block the path a little bit so you can get up into that cave there. But there's another way you can deal with that, too, and I'll show that off in a moment here. Hey, okay, how's it going? Ah, what's everyone want with Mia? Trying to think of a Lunar reference. Oh, um, yeah, I suppose so. Nuts. Well, you'd probably all die, I guess. I don't know. What's she so important for? Hmm. Okay, so now that snowman is right back up again because you left the screen. All you gotta do is just actually use move on it. You don't even have to actually move it. And it'll still block the path there as though you did drop it down there. I saw a speedrunner do that in a playthrough. And it's like, oh, wow. That's just a very, very minor time-saving trick. But, and we get a little item if you search the tombstone there. Okay, so now, in order to get up there, let's see. We just go around a little bit like this. Ha-ha! Yeah, a little tricky, but nothing we couldn't handle. Ooh, more vials that I'll never use for a long time. Okay, let's try this one again. So we go up here. So if you have the snowman in your way, he would block this path. But since you just touched it with the move synergy without actually moving it, you can still get in here as though it were blocking the way anyway. So, yeah, just kind of a weird thing that I thought I'd show you guys. But yeah, I did not figure that out on my own. I don't figure out a lot of things on my own. But I do figure out that I got fever here. We need more cowbell. Nah. Nah. But I do want to equip that to Isaac there, boost his stats up. So this is the setup that I'm going to be using for, for now. Let's see. As far as yeah, they got the same agility, but that's okay. Now, as far as dealing with enemies, though, most of the enemies in the Mercury Lighthouse are going to be weak to Mars. So what I want to give that to either Isaac or Garrett, so that way they'll be slow enough to let Ivan soften up the enemies, because I'm probably not going to be able to one-shot them with just Fever itself. Okay, well, one more place for us to look. Oh, yeah, I think I saw them. It's a whole bunch of old couples. Ah, okay. Well, everyone seems to be talking about her. Ah, okay. So are you a healer? Oh, wow, you can cure just about anything, huh? Yeah, there's going to be cursed equipment in this game. Kind of like the Dragon Quest games. Yeah, the, the cursed equipment they got in this game is a little useful. Which is more than I can say for most games, but there it is. Yeah, what's going on here? Oh, hey, it's someone with uh, another little portrait there. What is Ply, anyway? Is that just a made-up name for something? The only time I've ever heard of the word Ply is, like, two-ply paper towels or something like that. I don't know what it means in this context. Ah! Well, good, good! Why is everyone calling him Grandpa? Are they literally her relatives, or is that just, like, a token of affection, or a figure of speech, or something? But there's only one bed here. Well, I suppose you two could keep each other warm, both literally and figuratively. Hey, how's it going? Where are the other characters in the game with an actual sprite, or portrait? What was that? 
Huh? What about it? Only you can what? Can what? Oh, you know the guy? Whoa! Hmm. Oh, good for you. Okay, so they're not biologically related. Nuts. Yeah, I wonder what happened between the two of them. Um, yeah, oh well. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here. Yeah, I desperately need to rest up at the end here. Would have been nice if Mia could have stuck around for that, but no. Oh well. I need to get my synergy recharged anyway. Well, all right, let's head on northeast to the Mercury Lighthouse. Yeah, that was fairly quick. Okay, how are we doing here? Yeah, we'll be fine. Nice music they got going here. What do you mean? We heard you the first time. The music that's playing on the loudspeakers? What's going on here? Ah, okay. Well, evidently not. If you say someone is here... Hmm. Yeah, I wonder why that is. Well, all we need to do is just use our move synergy. Ha ha! No, no, just, it, just your imagination. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, so you must be kind of like us, huh? What do you call it? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I keep on saying that, I know. Now <laughs> yeah, I'll get over it sooner or later. Hmm, evidently. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of synergy, but I guess they don't end a meal. Oh, what does that do? I thought you, that was just used for healing. Well, for some reason, it's also used for a little bit of puzzle solving. I'm not exactly sure why, but, well, there it is. But what's going on inside the Mercury Lighthouse? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.